hi so in this video we are going to talk about compressibility factor we will discuss its basic concept and uh, inside things what you should know uh, for this topic right so compressibility factor is denoted by z and the other names of compressibility factor are that is what you can say that gas deviation gas deviation factor right gas deviation factor this is very important for you to understand that is what gas deviation factor right now if you look at the definition of compressibility factor compressibility factor right what is that it is the measure of it is the measure of definition uh, deviation measure of deviation real gas from ideal gas behavior right now what it is basically telling us it is a measure of deviation right that is why its other name is what gas deviation factor it can be also called as what let me write down another name of this compressive factor is what compression factor compression factor now let me tell you another definition of this compressibility factor which is in mathematical form right so we can say also like this it is the ratio of it is the ratio of it is the ratio of molar volume of gas this gas means real gas to the to molar volume of molar volume of ideal gas but here is the key thing in general we miss that key thing if you are writing this thing only then it is not uh, completely correct there is some problem in this this condition is only an only applicable right if there is pressure and temperature constant then only this definition is applicable otherwise this definition is not applicable for this right now let's talk about what will be compressibility factor for ideal gas let's do talk about talk about this well for ideal gas right we have an equation pv is equal to zrt and this z is what compressibility factor pv by rt and for ideal gas z is equal to 1 that means pv is equal to rt for ideal gas z is equal to 1 now for real gas let me tell you what will happen in case of real gas right in case of real gas what is happening basically z is equal to pv by rt this can be written like this v by rt by p and z is equal to pv rt that means we can write also this p by rt by v right that means this is what real pressure by ideal pressure this is what real volume by ideal volume right now here we have two case two cases basically in case of i uh, real gases one is what it is very important z is greater than one another one is what z is less than one if you are preparing for computer examination then possibility is there they're going to ask question from here when compressivity factor will be greater than one tell uh, which of the following condition will be applicable for this and for the same also when z is less or equal to one now remember this thing is very important remember first one that is what z is less than one less than one if attractive forces remember this attractive forces attractive forces predominant 
that means they are more powerful if attractive forces predominant then we can say this z is what less than one now second case z is greater than one now here comes comes into play that is what repulsive forces if repulsive forces are powerful then z is greater than one by using this concept i mean from this concept van der waal van der waal equation you know i hope so van der waal gives us right modified ideal gas equation so what is basically ideal gas equation we know this pv is equal to what nrt mrt or rt it is depend on what condition we have given but what is van der waal equation we have given p plus a by v square v minus b is equal to rt for one mole if there is n mole then we can write nrt p plus a by v square v minus b is equal to nrt for n mole and from here we got this what modified ideal gas equation or perfect gas equation so this is all about compressivity factor thank you very much see you soon in my next video bye bye